Santa Barbara Baker here showing you how to build the perfect pizza margarita. I have my pizza dough all stretched out. You can check out my stretching videos. I have a link down below. I got my uni 14 inch bamboo peel here. I got it mostly maxed out with a 312 gram dough ball. The dough recipe is up on SantaBarbaraBaker.com. I have both a sourdough, that's what I'm using here today, and also a, a you know thin and crispy one using commercial yeast. Nothing wrong with that. What's important in a pizza margarita, the tomato sauce. For a pizza margarita, you want to keep it super simple. The best tomatoes world up with a little salt. That's what I got here, my world's best tomato sauce. Recipes up on SantaBarbaraBaker.com. I got the link down below. I go with one brimming ladle bowl. That's about three ounces with one of these little ladles. I got a link in the down below for that as well, showing you what I use. I feel like it's really good to be able to control the portion because you don't want too much sauce. You just want a nice, good slick of tomato sauce across the whole dough. And I just dump in one full ladle full, then go with a circular motion, spreading it all around. So you get nice coverage there. This is looking good to me. On to the basil. I know some people like to add the basil after the bake, but really the OG way is to add it before. You know, it's not, it's not bad to go eat both. You put a little basil on before the bake, finish it off with some fresh basil as well. I like to go pretty generous with the basil. You know, talk about like maybe, you know, seven leaves on here. Always use the headies. This is the homegrown OG super headband. What do we got there? So, you know, we want to make sure it does, you don't need to count your leaves. More of the idea I look at, we're going to cut this probably into six slices. You want to make sure every slice gets a nice piece of basil. I like to taste it. That's looking good to me. On to the mozzarella. We have some fresh cow's milk mozzarella. I, that's what I like using. You know, buffalo is good too if you can get your hands on it. It's more expensive though and sometimes it can be a little bit watery. I like to start by just putting in a nice chunk. I like to tear the mozzarella as I go. You can see this was sliced but I still like to rip it. You know, you can change up your pizza a little bit too by if you decide to cut it or however, you know, rip, ripping right off of a big block is awesome. I like to go around with one piece in the center, then do about nine pieces around the outside here, building from the outside in. The outside of your pizza is your strongest. So you can go big out there and then just fill it in here with about, you know, five pieces around the center here. That's looking pretty good to me. Let's just put, I see this little piece is a little light. That's looking nice. That should be a nice rustic look like we want for it. It's the heady OG, the pizza margarita. And of course you need to hit it with some good olive oil. I like using California olive oil. Always use the freshest oil that you can find. It's not something that you leave in the cellar for too long. You want to use it fresh. I got my Uni Coda 16 all fired up outside. I turned it down before the stretch. We're gonna get this pizza loaded up. Take it for a bake. It's pizza time. Loading up my perfect pizza margarita into the Uni Coda 16. I gave the oven a full preheat as I always do, but then I turned the oven down to low. Actually, when I was starting to stretch the pizza, so we're shooting for more of like a two to three minute, actually more like a three to four minute bake. That's kind of my standard but I'm really just baking by sight and feel. Seeing the pizza starting to puff up a little bit there. Maybe could have used some more cheese coverage as we got a little bubble popping up in the center. But I'm looking to see some leoparding start popping up, some browning going on, some cheese meltage before I go on with my turning peel going in for that first turn. So far, so good. Not really seeing any leoparding quite yet, but that crust is popping up really nice. The fermentation on this dough seemed really good thinking about a first turn here because I'm seeing some leoparding popping up there on the left looking really good. The perfect pizza margarita going through. You just want to clear the bottom of the pizza, lift up slightly, pull back. That'll get your pizza to spin. And because of that bubble there, in the center it was a little bit sticky when I went in. As you can see, I couldn't quite get the spin super free, but we're okay. That's nice. You know, when that big bubble pops up, you always gotta be careful. That's a really easy way to rip your pizza. I'm gonna go in here for it in the second turn. Looking really nice. The fermentation of the dough looks really good. You know, classic pizza margarita. You're cooking, maybe baking a little bit quicker, but I like this little bit longer bake on the Uni Coda 16. Get a little bit crispier crust. It's looking really nice. I go for a full rotation of the pizza before I go into the ultra low zone. The ultra low zone is there.
or you know you got your Unico 16, if you feel like it's baking too hot, you can turn it into that zone. You can bake longer, which makes for a nice crispy pizza, which we're after here at Santa Barbara Baker. Wow, this pizza is looking really nice. But after that full turn, ultra low zone, the heady zone, push in as you're turning clockwise past that max point. Then you, just after that, now you're in the ultra low zone. On to your crispy pizza dreams. Gotta pay attention here to the pie. This thing's starting to move along here, looking really nice. Really nice pizza margarita. I'm into it. I'm thinking about ultra low zone here because I can see it starting to brown nicely, but we don't want it to burn. Looking really nice here. Check out that crust. Ultra low zone, clockwise, going quickly here, pushing in. Now we're in there. They don't mention that in the manual, but it's a super handy zone in this oven. Look at that, we can just finish this crust up, peeping the bottom here, seeing some nice spotting, some browning going on. This pizza smells absolutely delicious. Putting that basil on before the bake, that's the, that's the danks, man. That's the way to go, I feel like, because then you get that full aroma of the basil perfuming your backyard or wherever you're making pizza. This thing is looking really nice. You know, maybe a little light there, so we're gonna take the bake a little bit longer, but this thing is looking like we're gonna be on our way to a delicious pizza time. Just finishing it up. You can see too, when you're going in with the turning peel, if it feels a little softer, you can feel it kind of drape over the peel. That means it's not quite crispy yet. So you can go a little bit longer. This thing's about finishing up though. I'm liking the looks of it. Cheese all nice and melty, crust browning. I'm thinking this thing is about done. Looking really good to me. You know, we call it perfect, but any margarita is the super dates. Marg every day. That's how I like to live my life, the pizza passionate lifestyle here at Santa Barbara Baker. Look at this thing, looking pretty dank to me. The classic OG pizza margarita baked in the Uni Coda 16. Nice bake on this one, but then on to the rack. Always let it hang out. You know, probably about a minute is good, right? 20 seconds at least, though. You want that crust to set. We don't want a soggy bottom. You put it right on a tray or something, it'll steam up a little bit. Let this thing hang out. We'll take it into the booth, slice it up. It's pizza time. This pizza smells absolutely amazing. The pizza margarita. I mean, the cheese pizza, pizza margarita. It's my favorite pizza all the time. This one looks really nice. I was calling it my perfect pizza margarita. And you know what? This one looks... Pretty darn good to me. A pizza, the most perfect pizza is the one you're eating right now. So that's this one. Bake overall went really good on this one, I feel like. I like the look of all of it. Maybe a little bit pale in spots here, but I'm not really tripping on it. Nice leoparding, even browning, all that I like. That's what's nice about it. Give that uni could have seen a full pre, go that 30 minutes instead of 20, what they recommend. The oven needs a little more time to heat, but then turn it down before you load and then use that ultra low zone to finish off the pie. Let's pick it up. This one's looking really nice. Look at that. It's like kind of got that hybrid with the bottom here, nice leoparding and that crust. Look at that whole structure looking bomb. This is my sourdough recipe up on SantaBarbaker.com. And this is a slice I like, slice I like, you know, maybe a little sag there at the end, but we don't want it super ultra crisp for a pizza margarita like this. I like the looks of it. The cheese is still nice and milky looking, a nice little drizzle of olive oil. It all looks delicious. Let's give this thing a taste. There's a reason why it's the greatest pizza of all time. A pizza margarita. I can never get sick of it. It blows my mind every time I have one. Of just the synthesis of that happens when that fresh mozzarella, the fresh basil, always the Hedy's OG, and a bomb tomato sauce, the world's best tomato sauce here using the OG tomatoes. It all comes together into just an amazing bite. That freshness of the basil coming through there, the perfume through the sauce, it's absolutely delicious. I feel like this is a pretty good specimen of the margarita. I like the bacon, the flavors all over on the crust this time, man. The pole structure looking absolutely great to me. Hope you enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe if you did. Share the word with all your friends. Santa Barbara Baker, the spot for your sourdough, or I also have yeasted dough. That's all up on SantaBarbaraBaker.com along with all my recipes. Hope you are living your pizza dreams, or at least dreaming about it, and I hope I'm helping to get you there however you're baking pizza at home. I love you all. Check me out on Santa Barbara, on Instagram, on Santa Barbara Baker on there as well. 
Can't wait to get back into this absolutely delicious part pizza margarita. Love you all. One love.